just like my guy, the circus boy, Bobby Hunt says, we're getting taller. Getting taller! <laughs> hey, what's up guys? Victor from Cyborg for Life. And today I thought I'd switch it up and have a little fun by telling you how I'd go about getting cosmetic stature length done to get taller. So we're gonna go through the different categories that would get me to my desired height safely, including why I would do it, which bones would I choose to lengthen, what height I am now and what height would I wanna be, how I deal with the various factors like pain, rehab, prognostic recovery, and what I would tell people if they asked, the lengthening device, and finally, the surgeon that I would choose to do it. All right, so why would I ever consider cosmetic stature lengthening? I mean, I already got limb lengthening done for a discrepancy years back. Well, even though I'm not that tall, it surprisingly wouldn't be because I have height dysphoria. Uh, in fact, I feel confident about myself, feel fine going out in public, don't have problems with the ladies, and you know, I never get intimidated by others. In fact, I might intimidate people, not on purpose, but I guess that's what being muscular does. Well, I used to be muscular, now I'm all mushy. Ugh. Can you believe it's already been nearly a month since I got to work out? I'm losing my gains, bro. <laughs> okay, so why? Well, I would get it done because when I was a kid, my pediatrician predicted that I would be about 5'11", and I never got there. Probably because my sleep and nutrition wasn't the greatest during my you know, key teenage years, due to late night video games and you know, growing up, my parents had to work a lot, and so I was in charge of cooking for my little sisters. And all I knew how to cook for those little rascals was hot dogs, ramen noodles, and Kool-Aid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess also because I would like to have the challenge of filling out a taller frame. I mean, I already got long arms, which is great for deadlifting. And I mean, who knows? Maybe I'd be the next rock or something. So yeah, if I got it done, it would be because... I don't know, just because. So what bones would I choose to lengthen to get taller? Well, I would take my surgeon's advice from years ago and go with the femurs. I don't know why I didn't listen to her back then, um, but the femurs have the best capacity for length, they heal faster than the tibias, and I also broke my tibia twice and my femur once, so it's time to even the scoreboard. <laughs> okay, so now it's time to address the most popular topic. How much length would I shoot for on my femurs? Well, like I said, my childhood doctor said that I should have grown to 5'11", and so I think that's the height that I would go for, and last time I checked my height, you know, last March 2021, when I went in for my knee pain, sheesh, I'm falling apart. You know, first the knee, now the pec tendon. Anyways, they measured me at 174.5, which is a bit below 5'9". I just round up because of the shoes. Although after deadlifts and squats, I round down because of all the axle loading. Oh man, I miss working out. <sighs> deadlifts, squats. Focus, Victor, focus. Well anyway, to get to 5'11", or 180.5 centimeters, I would have to lengthen six centimeters, and so that's what I would do. This is considered conservative lengthening and rather safe. It would also keep me happy with my proportions and allow me to you know, quickly adjust to my new biomechanics and help me recover really, really fast and get back to it. Now, what about some of the worries patients have about the process? How would I deal with that? Pain? Nah, getting hit by a car, you know, doing limb lengthening once already, sustaining multiple head lacerations, uh, nearly 15 years working out for bodybuilding, I'd say I have a pretty high pain tolerance. You know, I got that aspect covered. Physical therapy, nah, been there, done that. In fact, it'd probably be a step down from the typical training that I do. Mobility, you're kidding me, right? All the surgeries that I've had, I'm an expert on all the walking devices. Plus, I'd do what Bob the Circus Boy did and just hire Dorian as a caretaker. She's the best. Worried about making a full recovery, no way. Lengthening conservatively and doing rehab religiously, I'd make sure that I recover 100%. What I would tell people if they ask, I would say, guys, I'm having another surgery. This one's for an angular deformity correction of my, they say, Victor, say no more. We get it, it's you, you're a cyborg. Surgery's like having a pit stop. Okay, 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 I suppose what worries me the most is time away from my daily routine. I mean, that'd be really annoying. I mean, I'm kind of facing that issue right now with the whole injury thing. A uh, little side note, by the way, I did want you to know that after I won the world championships in 2023, I was planning to retire, settle down, maybe get into martial arts, but no, look how that all turned out. I mean, tendons suck. You know, I would have rather broke a bone or something. Anyways, what about the LinkedIn device? Well, without giving away any free promotional plugs, let's just say that it would be a futuristic internal nail because I've had both internal nail on my tibia and monolateral external fixator on my femur. And when it comes to the femurs, X fixes suck, okay? And it wasn't even for lengthening, so screw that noise. And lastly, the surgeon who would be the next Dr. Silas Stone and get to operate on Cyborg. All right, I would pick, drum roll please, come closer, Dr. Oh yeah. What, you didn't hear me? I said Dr. <laughs> Did you really think I would give a biased pick like that publicly? 
Yeah, I don't think so. No free promos, remember? But all jokes aside, I can say this, is that if you had a good turnout with your surgeon, you know, for a past surgery, you might want to keep stress low and just go with who you trust. So there you have it. That's my plan. That's how I'd go about getting cosmetic stature lengthening and done to get taller. How about you guys? Let me know down below. What would your plan be in each of the categories? And as always, if you found the video helpful, do your boy a big favor. Hit that like button, the one with the thumb up, you know, <laughs> like right now. Do it. It's not that hard. Click it. Come on. Do it. Do it. <laughs> be sure to subscribe. And until next time, this is Victor from Cyborg for Life, signing out. Just like my guy, the circus boy, Bobby Flay says, Bobby Flay, what? <laughs> if you smell what Cyborg is cooking. All right, let's do it.